This time on Makers and Shakers, we got What's Up for Chudo, the top five video countdown tool of the week. And I ask you what you would do with $500 and more. Check it. This week, I'm just gonna have a little coffee for the show. Get this started off right. Welcome, my friends, to episode number five of Makers and Shakers, a show that highlights people shaking it up in the world of woodworking, art, metal, crafts, and building. How are you doing? What the heck is going on? I've got a great show for you today. Mm. Quick announcement, I will no longer be making jokes on this show because not everybody who watches this show has a sense of humor. That's unfortunate because I like making jokes, but I've received some comments recently who seem to get offended easily. So to be sure I don't offend those soulless creatures, I will just stick to the straight and narrow. Nah, f that. If you are offended by what I say, then don't watch my show. Get off the internet. Mm, yeah, I'm a little feisty today. I'm a little feisty today. What have I been up to? Not a lot going on here in the Pachuto shop as we are having some work done to our basement. Uh, we just had a bunch of new windows put in. All my machines are scattered throughout. I don't have a shop right now, so I will be back to making stuff shortly. Uh, I did put out a video a few days ago on making a Moscow Mule. That is a adult beverage. Uh, I got some more food and drink videos coming, but don't worry. I am going to make more woodworking videos, so don't don't think that these these little food and drink videos are going to eat up the good stuff. These are what I call extras. So I'll be going back to the traditional Pachuto videos. So just hang in there and uh, enjoy the extras. If you like a good adult beverage, then uh, maybe you'll learn something. I just want to share what I know with everybody, whether that's woodworking or food or drinks or just whatever and on top of that i have a new series that i'm working on and it's going to be called like a sasquatch now this series isn't going to be for everybody more details soon um, i'm not starting a new channel for all these extra videos they're all going on here i'm not the kind of person that has multiple youtube if you don't like the videos you don't have to watch them and just continue watching the show or the woodworking videos or whatevs you don't have to leave nasty comments saying this ain't woodworking Get off the internet, Pachuno! You suck! Trolls. F***ing trolls. I'm a published author now, or at least I will be on the 30th. My new book comes out September 30th. It is called The New Bandsaw Box Book, and it's got eight different bandsaw box designs that you can make step-by-step step from the book. Look for that or don't. I don't care. Like I said, I'm awfully feisty today. All right, uh, check this out. This is some cool stuff right here. Dale Graham, who, this is a mouthful, so I gotta read this word for word, is an industrial technology, timber products and furniture technologies instructor for the high school students at Bishop Druitt College in Coffs Harbor, New South Wales, Australia. Whew. So he's an instructor for an industrial arts high school class but for some reason high school is called a college that's confusing to us here in america but whatever so dale the instructor he shows my top five videos from this show to his students that is so cool i love that oh that just makes me feel so warm and gushy on the inside well he recently sent me some photos of some of his students work check this out that is so cool. Are you kidding me? These are high school kids making this stuff. That is awesome. It's so sad to see so many schools get rid of their industrial arts programs because you learn so much more uh, than what you would ever think by, by building stuff with your with your hands. And that's, uh, that's a skill that uh, um, I just love to, I'd love to see taught in more high schools. So thank you, Dale, for sending that. Thank you to your students. Awesome work, guys and gals awesome work good stuff couple of charities that i want to point out woodworkers fighting cancer put on by the wood whisperer mark and nicole will be donating five dollars for every build of this kid's table and chair set and if you're a youtuber they will donate ten dollars look at this woodworkers fighting cancer drinking coffee out of a woodworkers fighting cancer mug 
Also, Steve Ramsey has a new charity called Makers Care. And there's a new campaign going on right now where Steve will donate $5 for every toy plane made. That can be made out of wood, paper, metal, scraps, turds, doesn't matter. Just make a toy plane and you can donate yourself and Steve will also donate to this charity. Uh, good job Steve on setting this up. Once again, that is called Makers Care. There's a brand new website you should check out. A couple of cool influencers doing some cool things. There are a lot of behind the scenes work that's involved in running these charities. So high fives to the both of them for donating their time and money. Cheers. Up next, we got the top five video countdown and it's sponsored by Jord Watches. Check this out. Look at that. I'm just gonna throw out the marketing copy and I'm just going to speak freely on this because this wood watch is so super cool. The wood used on their watches is 100% natural. There are no stains, no coloring, and uh, the, it is treated with a sweat proof, splash proof, linseed tongue oil solution. Just uh, take a look at that. That is, uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. The craftsmanship is just awesome. I love the design. I've been wearing this for a week and it's so comfortable. So how it works is it's custom fitted to you. So what you gotta do is you go to their website, you find the watch that you want, which is, there's a ton of beautiful designs to choose from. And then you download and print out a, a little template, a PDF template. And then you wrap that around your wrist, you find out what your size is. And then when you order your watch, you put down the size of your wrist in there. And then in a couple days later in the mail, you get a beautiful wood watch oh i love it i'm really happy to have them on board because have i mentioned that i love this watch it's so cool it's a conversation starter because it's made out of out of wood and uh and so people have come up to me and like is that a wood watch and i'm like yeah i'm a woodworker check this out so uh Love it. There's a book. So check out their website at woodwatches.com. There's a ton of beautiful designs on there. And uh, I really want to thank George for making this show possible. Thanks, guys. Uh, beautiful watches. Check them out. I highly, highly recommend it. It's just high quality stuff right there. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, that 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 advertisement's over but uh yeah so when uh when they reached out to me i was like are you kidding me of course i want you to sponsor my show and um and i was like ah oh, this is the watch i want there was like there's a bunch of designs i actually went for the the most simple one because i just thought it looked super cool high class high class this is my favorite watch come here come here come here so we have this cat who's very large um, um, and he has some sort of flea allergy and, uh, it, right now he's wearing this, this cat cone, the cone of shame. Uh, cause he's, he's scratching himself. He's cutting himself open. Um, is he's, he's not, he's not the most beautiful cat in the world. Hey. Aw. He's also not the smartest cat in the world either. Woo. So anyway, yeah. Hi Kelly. How's work? Yeah, all right, I'm gonna do my show now. What we're all here for, the videos. Time for the top five video countdown. Boom! Coming in at number five, make coasters and cheese tray from a tree branch by the Geek Pub. Well, hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Mm. Top-notch videos from a top-notch channel. Loving what he is doing. Mm. Number four, Tongue Groove Pine Blanket Chest by my main man, Jay Bates. <laughs>
That dude knows how to find beautiful pine. Mm. I'll be hanging out with that dude next week at WIA. What's up, Jay? Number three, how to make a $1,500 sandwich in only six months. It's not bad. Seriously, that is just amazing. He grows and makes everything for this sandwich. That is a DIY project right there. It even includes a horrible chicken death scene. So beware if you're going to watch that video. Number two, Raw Craft with Anthony Bourdain. Take the term handcrafted gets thrown around a lot these days. It's Next, it's a matter of layers. I'll lay up a sandwich. Basically, that's your knife right there. So the idea is to cook it down and... Utilitarian is a knife, you'd think. But at the end of the day, what comes out is so unique and so beautiful, all I can say is that I want that kind of crazy. That's the kind of crazy that makes the world a better place. This show is super badass. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, mm. oh, it's so well done. Super highly produced show. Good stuff. Highlighting crafters and such. You know, kind of like what I do, but Anthony Bourdain style. Coming in at number one, The Knot Table by Kyle Toth. Boom. Uh, are you kidding me? I like to spend the night in that dude's brain. I'm telling you. Mm. All of these videos are in a playlist down below, including five extra videos not shown on here. So that's one link to all the videos. They're all in a nice little compact YouTube playlist. Check that out. How you like me now? Before we get into the next segment, I'd like to remind you that you can support this show by contributing on Patreon. $1 a month is all I ask, and that gets you advanced viewings of my videos, as well as an ad-free and extended version of this episode each week. That's right, only Patreon supporters get an extended version of this show. Moving on. All right, it is time for the Amazon tool of the week. Every week I show you a tool that I personally use and provide you an Amazon link to that tool. Purchasing anything on Amazon through the provided link helps support this show. And this week's tool is the Empire Combination Squares. Let me grab them. Where did they go? Where did they go? They come in a couple of different sizes. I have the 12 inch and the six inch. I use them on just about every single project that I do. It slides, they're very square. It's got a nice straight edge there's a level in there that I never use a little a little prickly hole poker all type thing in there to get your nails started I don't know what you call that I never use that either in fact I lost that one but anyways it's a combination square I probably use the six inch more than the 12 inch because I do little crafty boxes and stuff like that but they both come in super handy use them all the time you cannot have enough of these the 12 inch is uh 16 dollars and 10 cents which is a great deal for the quality build by the empire brand and then the six inch is ten dollars and 90 cents boom next segment earlier this week on facebook and twitter i asked you 500 dollars in unmarked bills just falls on your lap what are you gonna buy here's how you responded it's a trap the bills are marked burn it groceries like a boss about 33 copies of the new bandsaw box book by David Picciuto. First thing I'd buy is a new pair of pants, because if $500 fell on my lap, I'd probably sh myself. First, the new bandsaw box book. Second, bottle of Johnny Walker Blue. Consume both. 
my wife a plane ticket to go see her family for the weekend so I can spend the weekend in the shop. A ladder to see where the money is falling from. Black walnut, all damn day. A trip to your front yard. I would set up a lawn chair and a kiddie pool. I would then sit down, drink a beer while listening to Norwegian black metal. An hour of your time. Matthew, you already have my heart. What else do you need? If you are new to the show, please subscribe as I also put out how-to videos here on YouTube and you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. On my website, you'll find even more tutorials as well as plans, project kits, stickers, t-shirts, and more. And if that isn't enough, which it can't be, right? I also make a weekly audio podcast with Jimmy Diresta, Bob Cleggett, and this week we talk about what excites us. Can you tell I'm excited now? Patreon members, be sure to stick around for your extra content. If you're going to be in Woodworking in America uh, at, in Kansas City, when is that? September 25th and 26th. I will be there. Come up and say hello. Um, please, if you come up and say hello, say, hey, my name is blah, 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 because I might not recognize you from your tiny little YouTube avatar. So I can't wait to see you guys. It'll be fun. All right, that is it, folks. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something.